This video explains how to get the Unix timestamp of the current date and time in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step for this tutorial, we need to import the time module, as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next step, we can use the time function of the time module to get the current Unix timestamp. So in this case, I'm storing the output of the time function in a new data object that I'm calling Unix timestamp. So after running this line of code, this data object is created and we can print the content of our new data object Unix timestamp using the print function. And then you can see below the code box that the Unix timestamp that corresponds to the current date and time is appearing below the code box. You can also see that this Unix timestamp has decimal places. So if we want to avoid that, we could use the int function in addition to the time function, as you can see in the third code box. So in this case, I'm storing the output of the time function in combination with the int function in a new data object that I'm calling Unix timestamp2. And then I'm printing this timestamp below the code box. So as you can see, the output of this is the same Unix timestamp as before, but this time without the decimal places. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.